<laughs> Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things with RuneScape related content creators. I'm one of the hosts, Mint Man Cow, followed by... Let's get on boys, Rake as always. And a Rice Cup. So we have a Mr. Cold One back for perhaps round two or three. I think it's three, right, Mr. Cold One? Or yeah, is this three. We've had you on for three times? Can we get a, yeah, another dude, person? Yeah, <laughs> charm, boys. <laughs> and so... We're not going to, you know, go into too much detail, but Mr. Colwan is the PVM extraordinaire. You know, Iron Man first, Iron Man solo, the TOB, and whatnot. So, yeah, man. What's up, Mr. Colwan? You ready for today's podcast? 100%. Let's get this going. Let's jump right in. Yeah, All right. So, let's get with the Q&As, bro. So, you know, Mr. colwan has got some opinions he wants to talk about. But first things first, RuneFest reveals you were there. You are hanging out with Rexy and all that good stuff. So... How did you feel about the reveals? Like, you know, whether it impacted you or not, or got you excited, yada, yada. All that. Personally, it's going to sound like a bit questionable, but I thought they were quite lackluster. Aside from the clan system, I think that was honestly the best reveal they had. The fact that they're going to rework it. You can have more people in the channel now. You can moderate it a bit more. You can have multiple channels within it, hopefully. We don't know exactly what's going to be involved in it, but now they said this is going to be our primary focus, which is a fantastic reveal. I love that. And it wasn't even content that was revealed which kind of says something and then the three pieces of content they did reveal which was like a master level quest that kind of expanded on the mauritania area a little bit wait they're coming Another, out with a quest yeah. oh yeah the weird vampire one. Oh yeah yeah, yeah the yeah, sins yeah. of the father okay i got you sweet yeah so, so it comes after that quest you do to like get to theater of blood and whatever yeah how do you feel about the um the <laughs> group iron man because you, you you said only the clan system was of interest to you as soon as they started announcing that, saying the client system will allow us to do something else, and then Mod Husky walks up on stage and starts like hinting at it, and I was standing next to Solo Mission and Framed, and I had like the most disappointed look on my face. I'm not gonna lie, I had never been more disappointed at Jagex in my entire life. It's like this is supposed to be like the time where you reveal content, and then Group Iron Man is literally no content. It's just creating a new account and doing all the content over again. Hell yeah, with people. Yeah, I've realized I mean, that. I <laughs> <laughs> well, I've realized that RuneScape knows that the first, you know, Tutorial Island, uh, Monkey Madness, those kind of first levels are some nostalgic shit. And they try to focus a lot of their newer content on you repeating that. Dead Man Mode, Iron Man, all of the different account builds. And now Group Iron Man, they want you to relive the nostalgia again. I don't know about you, but I've seen way too many fucking progress videos in my lifetime to, to watch another video. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Yeah, I feel the same exact way about that kind of thing. It's like every single progress video, well, at least Iron Man ones, they all start out at Winter Todd. Every single progress <laughs> yeah. video is like episode one. It's like, okay, we're going to get this level <clears throat> fire making, and now off to Winter Todd. We'll see you in another four days when we get Oh, there. dude, yeah, but that's, every... that's nothing compared to Dead Man Mode. That's oh, like, yeah. That's like every, every video from every content creator is the same. For And you get two, 10 uploads every day for seven days. And it's just the same. And you've just got to pick your favorite content creator yo, yo, and just follow their shit? journey. You know, the, that, that's, that's just how it is, is dude. The that's whole episode, dude, the whole episode about Monkey Madness during Dead Man Mode, <laughs> you know, just going in that little jail cell and then dying like 20 times. That's hey, the only hey, one I watched. Honest, I like I like Dead Man Mode progress videos after episode one because episode one, as he said, is the same thing for every single person. They all yeah. go to the security dungeon, get their 10K, do the early quest, <sighs> Monkey Madness, everything else in between. Episode Drag, two, like Dragon Defender is one. Oh yeah, Defender. Dragon Defender. That's like episode two for a few people. Yo, you know what they should have done for Nemo? They should have uh, made it so that your starting points are different every season. Well, I mean, you could choose different points, but getting that 10k yeah. is usually the best. No, I mean like not choosing, but like you're forced to start at like. They force you into Mortania, and settles just beating yeah. ass, dude. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> say yeah or something, because like, that's what you're doing. Two hours, and he's got a snail on and shit, you know. Yeah, so like that's kind of what they're doing with like the whole leak thing. Like they're forcing you to start off in Zaya and and restraining you in Zaya, so that way everybody starts completely kind of new. Like there's no established methods really, except for maybe one guy that played in a you know Zaya only Iron Man, right? I'm gonna use the defense that a lot of people use to not go in the wild. Why are they forcing Zaya content on us? You know, <laughs> I don't like Zaya. Game mode that you can play exactly, but if you want to enjoy movie, it. So. You have to know about Zaya, right? No, well, like, yeah, exactly. Well, if you know more about it, then you get a head start. You know well, that's saying? the defense people use not to go in the wild. It's forced content, right? If you want to go in that yeah. area and try it out. I don't like Zaya. <laughs> I fucking hate Zaya, dude. I hate 
I mean, there's like, some cool shit in Zay, I'm not going to lie, but most of it, not even. Yeah, well, fair. you can't peek in Zay, so it's... <laughs> well, okay, I know, but just other than that, I mean, you got to unlock most yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, the, the new competition that they're doing is making it so that people aren't doing, like, Waterfall again, uh, you know, 10k security Dude, stronghold or whatever. That so always be... interesting to watch, I, though. I have just had an absolute genius idea for PvP and how they can make, like, a PvP expansion which would be fun, interesting, just like, get a load of this, right? There, why isn't there a wilderness in Zaya? okay? That's what I'm saying. It's slightly above, like, if you look on the map, right, I'm pretty sure Zaya's above where the wilderness is, like, level 50 mage. No, it's, like, completely so, on the on the west side. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's completely on the west side, but it's higher up, right? If you look at the map, like, the wildies here, and it's, like, up here. Like, Zaya's up there, right? So imagine if, like, at the top of Zaya, which I'm pretty sure is, like, a volcano or something, there was like 10 levels of wilderness there, a bank close by, and it just jumped from like zero to 60 wildy and up or yeah. something like that. Mm. Just like a whole new wilderness. Like, would that not be like a crazy well, I mean, uh, you, you have a lever a that cool teleports you there. <laughs> Rakesy, can I bridge on your idea? And this is a great Bridge plan. on it, man. All right. Imagine if there was a bridge that, that was just wilderness that connected Zaya to the wild, and it was just this fat <laughs> fucking bridge. Like this shit again. Right? And, we put and, potions on it, too, and it was super deep, wildy. It was like the wall of China, right? And there's like resource areas along the way, and the deeper you go into the bridge, the more you make, but you can't teleport out. You have to run all the way to the other side or back. That sounds fucking awesome, man. What, dude? Oh. All right. What? Ima imagine if they just made like two squares of wildy up there. <laughs> Just like I mean, just they two. could they could connect just, it via teleport if they like, wanted to. Imagine how uh, sick that'd be! Like you're doing Slayer, you're getting your Slayer task from the uh, the high level Slayer woman. I don't know what she's called, and uh, like someone's shit talking Elizabeth? you, <laughs> and you're like step into the, step into the world with me. And there's two squares where you can just stand and Dude. just like poke each other with lances. That would be amazing. That'd be amazing. Why not? I don't know. You know, as much as I love PvP content, I think I'm gonna have to revert this. Tangent and probably talk yeah, about Runefest yeah, again before yeah, we go yeah. on a twenty minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. But the bridge would be amazing, though. Oh yeah, my that'd God. be hilarious. Just <laughs> yeah, just like a, I mean, a limited test or something. It Seriously. would make more sense for it to be a tunnel if there were to be resources. Oh yeah, under the water, dude. You know, mm -hmm. and then you're like, Underwater you could just have like cane. you're fighting fucking sea lions and shit under. I don't know how that works. You know, <clears throat> maybe you could take Ever. You could take the top road. On the uh, the bridge and fight trolls like really high end trolls that drop good shit, or you can go underneath where all the ore is, and that'd be and like another slayer dungeon. And then you could have deep, wildy underwater fishing, right? You now just pop your this. pole into the side. Dungeon? Hang on to this with that slayer dungeon. We're gonna add another herb patch, dude, <sighs> and a couple trees, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> One tree per feet, just along the way. You can get 99 farming as you go, but you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> and then that person will vote no he's like oh i lost my magic secretaries i'm like well then don't risk him idiot <laughs> oh all right uh all back right. to q a cold one i heard you the first one to do dragon slayer is that true the first person ever to do dragon slayer yeah yes i was yeah. the first person ever to do dragon slayer back in 1986 wow that's pretty impressive dude that's yeah, why we brought you on that's pretty cool you're Anyone? a time traveler <laughs> very well versed you guys like her background picture, by the way? Rakesy wasn't feeling so good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was into keeping this one up, honestly. <laughs> dude, it was the cardigan, man. I had to, I had to take it off, dude. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's the, disintegr up. the disintegration started from the top, and then it slowly reached uh, the bottom. And then we saved him right before the bottom of his mouth disappeared. So <laughs> you can still voice. do the podcast, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you can still talk. You just yeah. can't see what's going on. I mean, it's all audio anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, an actual question though: Cold One is apparently going to de-iron his Iron Man, which is it's how how, how rich is your Iron Man, dude? Uh, if I well, currently, like before I de-ironed, it was five bill. But if I had never dropped any dupes, it would have been worth well over like thirteen, fourteen bill. Jesus, uh, it was incredibly and, rich. And he's going to de-iron something <clears throat> that has probably done everything in RuneScape, I'd imagine. Yeah, like that's like the main reason I'm de-ironing, because I've done everything. I'd rather just go enjoy the game unrestricted. I don't want to have to like go to Zolra before doing something to make potions and go do a birdhouse run, then go do a farm run, and then go like buy rooms at the store, 
I'd rather just go and do the content instead of sitting <clears throat> two hours before that preparing for content. What rank is your Iron Man? <clears throat> uh, that doesn't matter. I'm not maxed. <laughs> uh, I'm never oh, going okay. maxed. Yeah, there's no PVM it. ranking system, so yeah. yeah. I yeah, think like, can't ask level is, like rank like one K or something like that. But like, if I'm maxed, I think I would hit like rank eighty or something with the amount of total experience I have. But that's all on like combats. That's where most of my total experience lies. Yeah. Jeez, dude. Yeah, Cohen's <laughs> gonna adopt a kid, so he's too busy to play Iron Man mode. Is he? All the... I'm, I'm not actually kidding. adopting a kid, <laughs> but I I'm gonna be a bit busier in the next coming months and years. So uh, I'd rather like when I log mm-hmm. onto the game or like stream it would. Like you know, be something fun to do rather than like yeah. you know, oh, get forced to kill the snake for the six thousandth time or something. I'm with you on that. I would have de-ironed a while ago. Yeah, I personally think though, um, if you built that account, I mean, might as well just build a fuck another one and make that your main, right? That's uh, what I, I said. I can't, be, I can't be bothered doing that again. Someone said it takes two months to do it. I'm like, yeah, two months of what playing twelve hours a day? Like, <clears throat> it's two months of doing just that. I get, yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, as long as you're enjoying the game, it is your account. Yeah, it, it, yeah. you know what I mean. He's he's like a he's like the dad now. He knows how to make the decisions. You know, right? Yeah. Is he I your daddy, know. dude? Is he your daddy, bro? You've been Basically, calling him your dad dude. for a bit. That's hot. Basically, bro. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm yeah. kind of old enough to be your dad. And like, by the way, uh, <clears throat> yo, Re, what are you wearing, Re? You look like Aladdin. From our unlucky dude. Oh, no, no, it's like just a, tw- it's a hoodie, bro. It's a twist. Oh, he a looks kind of like an guy. anime schoolboy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, straight, man, man, is anime, obs- uh, you know, anime. You can rice his little lolly boy, man. He could be a little anime boy. I could see it. He's got the posters like in the back. for my hero or something. Yeah, there you go. What would his superpower be? Huh. Uh, the power to see through windows. <clears> the power to, to hear music? The power to have spiky hair. Boom. That's pretty good power. Yeah, I mean, now you're nice. basically the main like protagonist of the series. Yeah, you have a spiky here. <laughs> Every yeah. time he yeah. lifts his glasses, there's like a shine. I could see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we got any more questions for Cold One? Or all right, yeah, okay. You guys so usually ask one guy, like one question each, with like no limitations. We kind of already did. We kind of right. See, we had him on before, so you can't ask your question. Sadly, uh, dude, I just <laughs> asked my question. I asked what rank his Iron Man was. That was not a. Like Question, bro. That was that was a oh, question. That's trash. What? That's a it trash had a response. question. There was an answer. Okay. okay. All right. So I'll ask a better question. What is your opinion on the state of the game? Uh, right now it's been <laughs> overloaded, and the things that they're pulling in the like the new blog for like the sins of the father, like whatever spirit of like God Ash or whatever it is, like that reward that where you can attach something to your aim that a torture, which is your soul split. That seems like a really Terrible idea. It's not bad. Soul splits right coming now. into the game? Pretty much. And it's going to be in an amulet that goes onto an amulet of torture. So you get the torture bonuses and you get soul split. Why do they keep recycling content? They're... It, it doesn't end there. It gets better. You know how you get it? By pickpocketing Firewatch with level 60 thieving. Why? <laughs> not from Why? From thieving. Nah, that's Ooh, just busted. Dude, I love that the game on never allow that What shit the been. fuck is no up way. with this did recycled they... content, man? Come on. Did they try to sneak this in? Or no, they're like suggesting <laughs> it because like it, there'll obviously be a poll, you know, like a blog on it and stuff. But that's kind of like something they had in mind. Mm-hmm. I mean, that shit ain't passing. Just saying, that's way too strong. Oh yeah. yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, do you guys ever want to see those um super strong prayers in the game again? Remember those? No. Well, it's really mm-hmm. just soul split. That was like the dude. Only super that was the main <clears throat> one. Dude, yeah, I hate all of them. You could like drain your opponent's special attack and all sorts of dumb shit and reflect it back. I got. It was. It just yeah, made it the game like overcomplicated. Those were small things. Those were small things. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it was soul split. That Some was people missed that stupid. though. Some people really right. missed that. So I, 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 I do. I, I do. But I, it's too strong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'll, yeah. I'll say something on the topic uh-huh. of like soul split. Right. They just added a new best in slot helmet. Right. And I'm thinking along PvP terms here. So the max hit with the AGS went from an 83 to an 85. Okay. Now, I saw a disgusting clip a few days ago on Twitter of some dude in max strength, max mage in Edgeville, and he gets stacked out from 120 health with, like, an 80-something AGS, a 20 barrage, and probably, like, a 15 G more. That's all that. Now, I personally, I hated the way that the old wieldy was because shit just got out of hand. We had turmoil. We had soul split. We had pack yaks. But actually looking at that, it's more balanced than what we currently have because although back in those days the power spike went up and up and people got more and more damage as time went on, <clears throat> we also got more resources. We got higher edible food. We had pack yaks. 
and stuff like that. It's like you actually can if you go deep wilderness PK in right now with the state of how powerful shit is and the fact you don't have an extra twenty eight inventory spots for the back yak, you're fucking nuts. Like you're stupid. You're gonna lose your bank. Like, have you guys even considered that? Like, although the the old wilderness was fucked and it wasn't fun at all, it was somewhat more balanced. Because although you could get hit very high, and I'd say even lower than what you can get hit right now, I don't think you can hit an 85 with turmoil. Like, I don't. Not even, maybe investors. But you can do that shit now in, like, bandos, which doesn't even degrade. Like, how messed up is that? And we don't even have a pack yak to be able to survive. <laughs> You yeah, know what? Back then, your best in slot amulet was a fury. It wasn't torture. Torture well, adds a lot to it. I missed the yeah. fury being best in slot. That was a good time. Mm -hmm. They should take just delete I mean, those I, items. I mean, look, right? man, if you're bringing that much risk to the wilderness, kudos to you, bro. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Because so that fun helmet is, is, fun is not cheap. Well, yeah, that's yeah, the thing, yeah, yeah. though. What sucks is that the power spike is so insanely high. But if you were to try to even bring any of that power spike in the wild, you get single yeah. clan instantly for it. And they're going to mm -hmm. all have the best in slot gear while you're going to be tag teamed. So even if you do try to go kill people in like medium gear, you're going to have a problem because uh, you can't overpower like Black Dehyde with like two mil gear. It's actually <laughs> fucked, right? Yeah, but if you bring that strong gear, you can PK like people for like 200k easily. But then you get whomped. So there's a huge power struggle right there that you can't even bring that gear in and slap people because you're going to get slapped yourself by a single clan. Dude, like, I, I personally think the balancing for PvP is just so fucked right now where nothing's been done. Like, I, I'm actually at the point, whenever I see people tweeting about PvP, like, I see pure spam tweeting about PvP. I see, um, I see a bunch of people... The Mank tweets about <clears throat> PvP. I see. Uh, what's that Scottish guy that's really good at PK? Mika tweets about League. <laughs> Scott, not, not Mika. The guy, the guy that hosts you quite 10, a lot. Then. Skill specs? No, no, no. He's a P PKer. He doesn't have a webcam, but he's. Really oh, amenity. He's not Scottish. Guy. He's American, bro. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, got the overalls, dude. He sounds like the ah, whitest person. I actually think that he was Scottish. He's, Love you, amenity. Yeah, he's I, American. I, I, I thought he was Scottish for some reason. You got the know. overalls and Scottish. shit. Yeah, dude. Oh, well, regard he watches the podcast, so shout out to you, Amenity. But what I was going to say, Scarish. whenever I see these guys posting on Twitter about PvP, I just feel fucking sorry for them. It's like you guys need to literally forget about it. I'm at a point with PvP where it's like, just stop it. Just stop going into PvP. It's dead. <laughs> it's ruined. And it's then when nobody Iron Man. goes, they're literally remove it. Because at the nah, point where it's at right now, dude, it's fucked, man. Like, I don't really think they can do much to counter it. Like, for me, I will not PK again, simply for the fact, after seeing that clip of someone getting hit like an 85 by an AGS, stacked out in max gear, fuck that, dude. I got better things to do with my time. I'd rather yeah, like not. I was in camp in pre-melee, like, if you're getting rushed like that, you just slap on pre-melee, the most barrage is going to do to you but, in max gear is like 42. Dude, he wasn't, he wasn't getting rushed. They were having a hybrid fight. They were both in match gear. Okay, then that's different. They were fighting each other. Yeah, we didn't That's put on pre million time. You got outplayed. That sounds but just like a time. death match that they agreed right. on. Yeah. But even That's still, like, they just... All right, y'all y'all aren't PKers, man, big. okay? I, I'm when not you saying can... that the terms of the fight were not fair. They both knew what they were getting into. I'm simply saying that how can that be attractive to anybody that you can just get one shot regardless of what gear you're in at literally any point? And That's regular... not appealing at all. I think Racy's talking about that if you're camping 115, 120 HP in max gear and you get one ticked for it, right? Just because RNG was on his side is bullshit, right? Could you imagine risking that much and then getting slapped in a second at max like, HP and tank gear? Dude, the, the thing for me is like the overkill, right? So what's the max HP we can have right now? Is it like 121? Yeah. Yeah, that's what right. And you can't eat an angler and go to that HP. If you're in combat in PvP, it's one fifteen. It will you. Yeah. Max okay. Is so, so currently the max with it, we'll go with the AGS. The max of the AGS is eighty five. You just said the max with a barrage is forty two. So add that. And then what's the max of the G more? Probably 45. like forty five. Forty four, forty five. Yeah. Dude, we're so right, nerdy. 45. How do we know this? So we, we are allowed to basically get our HP to one hundred and twenty when the max you can get stacked for is one hundred and seventy two damage. 172. Does that not seem a little bit fucked to you? That basically means you don't even have to hit close to the max hits to be able to one-shot anybody for well, anything. Well, you gotta hit first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, it, dude, if you just, You also like, gotta just not roll. If you are a cancerous PK, and believe me when I say this, there's a lot of people that will literally just rush all fucking day, teleport, get their spec back, spec back, rinse and repeat, do that shit 
all day. At some point, seeing that you can actually land a 172 damage combo, it gonna happen. You know it's scary. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, it happens, but it's like I think you're over, like I don't know, just just overly dramatizing it because it's like pretty rare for that dude, to even happen. No, and no, it's not that's something that's more as you think. That, that's my I mean, point. I mean, okay, I, I know, that I know that you, it's rare to hit that. You don't bring this stuff yeah. in the wilderness, though. Oh yeah, you know everyone, like, a lot yeah, of people you're do. Showing. Yeah, but why? Why don't people, dude? I used to because, risk way more I mean, than Matt, that. You just said that the clans will. We're talking about like PVP worlds, man. That's oh, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, about, I mean, we're that's different. About PvP, yeah. But it kind of goes across. But I'm saying, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, I'm the just match. saying the wilderness. We, we were talking about the wilderness, and then you talk about PvP. Well, I was I talking really about the wild, as in if you were to bring any Dude, gear yeah. out to PK, you're going to get hit by a single clan in that gear. Right. Yeah, yeah. So why are we relating PvP worlds I, to the wilderness? I'm yeah. talking about, I'm on the topic of max hits. I don't really know what Min's talking about, to be what? totally honest. Yeah, yeah. Why did I become the scapegoat? All right. All right, yeah, you guys are talking about different together, things. I'm getting confused. My point that I'm trying to pitch here, if the max HP you can have is 121 and the max combined combo is 172, right? That is 51 damage off of the max hit that you don't need to hit in order to still fully stack someone out. 51 damage minus that from the max combo. 51. You can hit that harder. Dude, that means yeah. that you... If you don't use AGS spec, you can get an even higher stack. If you just whack with the God Sword and then go into double Gmall, you could hit higher. Or well, double DDS, Gmall. 48, dude, 48, 48 45. Fucks, What's 4, like, 4, I, 4, I don't think you should be able to fully stack someone out from full health unless you hit the absolute max. Well, yeah, that just so sounds once... like a PvP world issue, right? They could artificially lower the numbers. I mean, they want to. Maybe no, reg they reg go dude. For that. I, 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 <laughs> but it's I, like, see... I don't know. It's just I think it's always been like that, right? Because even without all these updates, you can still stack someone out from 99, 120 HP, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mean, like, let's be honest. You don't even need any of those updates, and you can still stack someone out. Yeah, so, that's true. I, but it, like, shouldn't, it shouldn't, shouldn't be such an easy task. Yeah, that, that, yeah exactly. Cohen. Cohen said it best. It's always been like that. So what's, yeah, it's been like what's... that. It's just easier to pull off now than. It so, yeah, it's like slightly easier as you know you start getting a little bit more strength bonus every time. Yeah, yeah. it's because it's power spikes. It's not really. I'll about... give you an example. Yeah, Ferocious one gloves, before, uh, torture that gives you one max hit. Uh, like upgrading from Natus now to uh, the new helmet, that's about a max hit. So you gain, you know, you effectively gain two max hits. Berserker Ray and Bew, which was years ago, you know, what I mean, that's a max. That's hit, another right? max hit. Yeah, you get, you get like three max hits, right? So. So Inferno even without game, all those updates, you're still going to be one banging someone. Torture. Yeah. Yeah, primordials, one strength bonus. So like, that's like nothing. That yeah, no, they all add together. That, the thing is, Rice... Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. You get about three max hits. But, yeah, but if you look at it like this, man, it's not the yeah. max hit. It's the average hit you're going to hit with that gear. It's going to yeah, go up Yeah, which is 1.5. So get you're going to say like 1. the max and just regular gear is like a 72. You're yeah. going to hit that more times than not in the regular yeah. gear. And that's about... Yeah. That that's my point is that you don't need all these updates and you can still one. But it's gonna something. happen more yeah. more often though. Like yeah, it used to be rare, often. right? It used to be rare. Now it's like you could you could just thrash somebody, not even maxing. Well, right, I guess I, I mean it's slightly more rare, but it's not like fifty percent more common. Yeah, I've been out there, man. I've seen okay. those videos. They slap every time, bro. Uh, another way that this can be transferred into the wilderness. And by the way, I should say that I see the PvP and wilderness. As like a whole, I don't see it as like yeah. two separate things. Although they are, but in this instance, I'm saying that as a whole, right? So that max combo right there is the equivalent to 11, 11 sips of brew, okay? Which is what two two and a half brews for somebody's full combo, right? And I'm saying while that transfers over to the wilderness, it's like two and a half brews to get fucking basically one ticked for it is a lot. And if there's a massive team on you. There's no surviving that, even if you've got an inventory of brews. Obviously, you're not going to get hit that every time, but that is a, a shed ton of damage, mm -hmm. right? And there's okay. no there's no play right now which is counteracting that at all, at least back in pre-EOC. And I hate summoning. I always hated it, but at least back then, you could just be like, oh, fuck, I just got demolished. I'm just going to pull 10 more brews out of my pack yet. I'm well, saying... I think that's the, the inherent problem with the... Yeah, but then it became the too safe. The playing yeah, field isn't level. Way too safe. I don't know, man. I feel like we're just addressing things that isn't necessarily something that you can solve because I think that's just how the wilderness has always been. I don't think you we've ever I mean? solved anything on the podcast. It, it, so. Like, right, for example, <laughs> if you get piled I mean, by a clan, right? It. It's been five years. They still Yeah, think, think about this way, right? If it's just you and then you, you fight someone that's like with a group of five, how are you ever going to kill all of them? 
You know what I mean? No, just, I've yeah. done it. Uh, mo- no. Most likely not, unless they're absolute noobs. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like, but you're not gonna really find a team of just so newbie people. But like, dude, what you what you just sometimes Re, what you just said is very inaccurate. What you just said about it's always been like that. I mean, technically, the damage has almost been like that. I think the damage right now is more than it's ever been, but it hasn't by always been bit. like that by because although that be damage uh, by a little bit, do damage. But objective. The thing is, like back in the day, it was like. They increased, like we had rock tails. They healed more than anglers. Okay, you had flats. No, it was the same. They healed. You had, you had an extra. It was twenty two. Yeah, rock yeah. Tails healed twenty two. Twenty two. I mean, uh, yeah, it's the same. Wait, the anglers healed twenty two. I thought it was twenty one. They heal. No, they healed twenty two. Twenty two. Oh, okay, it's the same exact thing, bro. You had an up. You got an update on the flask, which meant that you got an extra sip on every single brew, right? Or it might. Was the yeah, flask I guess. Five yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, your and argument then, is that you could you have more food in your inventory. Okay. Yeah, but because so the, the, the damage the damage went up. Yeah, therefore, you had to be able to take more damage. Had that too. I mean. Okay. All right. You're missing the point. What I'm saying is the damage has gone up in old school, but the resources yeah. to be able to yeah. deal with that damage has not. That's what I'm trying okay. to say. Okay. Sure. Sure. I agree. Like with so, that. in terms of like wilderness, when it comes to wildy, like if you go deep wildy and you're risking bank, you're just an idiot because you're gonna die because the damage is yeah, the same, yeah, if not more than what it was in pre OC. You have less resources to, to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Which yeah, is I only see like content creators right do that stuff, you know, just because they want to show off how much they risk. To be yeah, honest, yeah, it's like big clients yeah. going out or like you know abysses rat. Yeah, like, regular like, cares don't do that shit. It's just it's just content creators that. Want to show off how much they want to risk for well, the content creators with single clans and single clans and single clans and yeah. Uh, this Rake see that's a good point. But imagine if they did up the resources and then all those raggers out there, like how would you ever even kill them in regular? Well, yeah, that's so the it thing. doesn't I, fix a problem. I, I, I'm right? not saying that's they what don't they bring should resources, do. Really, I, I'm really saying rough. I'm saying like what's the what's the lesser of two evils here? Is to have some bullshit pre OC thing with pack yaks and flasks, or to have what we currently have, which is nobody is even willing. To go that deep into the wilderness with risk, because let's face it, if you do, you're gonna die. There's no out tanking. Um, like, I think they're both equally bruises. as bad because I would not want pack in this game at all. No, I, I don't that want them either. Disgusting. But yeah. I'm saying, like, you know, we always talk about what could fix PvP and stuff like that. Like, uh, in, my, yeah. in my opinion, I think PvP is just done. Yeah, like, exactly. I think we've it, come it, to that, you know, it, I think we've like, come to that conclusion. The power podcasts. spikes. The power spikes it's, way yeah. too much, and nothing not so much about the power spikes. Honestly, that's not like it's you, just. I think it. it's just the nature of the wilderness because, like, we've talked about this like every podcast, and right. we've well, always come to the conclusion that there is no perfect solution other than just to phase out the wilderness and make an elo system. That's about it. That's or, or, you, or, you out to, dude, to it. or you cater it to bounty hunter. That's pretty much it. Those were the only two things that were like made sense to us. No matter how how much we like try to. You know, think think about it solution wise from every angle. It just came down to either you make bounty hunter just popular or you just make an needle system that just standardizes PK so that everything is super fair. That was the only thing that we came the only two things. I don't want the spirit of the wilderness to like go away to like have it be replaced by a needle system or force bounty hunter mode or something like that. I still want like the wilderness in every world to stay dangerous. Like that's how it's meant to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it's balanced around right now. Imagine if like wildy bosses could just be farmed like carefree and max gear with a crossbow. They kind of already are. (laughs) Well, you don't bring you don't bring out like you know full armadillo to. Yeah, so but it honestly, like D, D but yeah, D hide and armor though, though, it's six accuracy difference. Like nobody really cares, you know. Yeah, but there's other stuff you can bring. You can bring like you know your archers ring imbued. You can bring they your negations and yeah. stuff. Like everything stacked up. But that's just like the first of it. Yeah, and the reason yeah. PVP is like dead overall is just a lack of interest. Like people don't particularly play this game, but the majority of them don't. Play yeah, it. yeah, they, like they like PVP I said, right? Like, I think just it just comes down to I think what what we kind of well at least uh, it made a lot of sense. It's just the wilderness just isn't efficient anymore you know like people don't really care too much about having fun going out there to kill people you know at least not the people that play this game yeah most, most people, people that play this, play game, this are game are a different breed than those who yeah. look for like a mm-hmm. pvp interaction and there's yeah. much more games to get yeah. that pvp interaction now you've got yeah. fortnite you got league of legends you got modern warfare you Roblox. have overwatch <laughs> modern warfare <laughs> yeah it's yeah that's that's true that's i think that's what it ultimately just comes down to most of the player base like I said, like you, you know, you guys make fun of me, me when I say there's not enough kids. It's true. There's just not enough kids to actually mm-hmm. like, you know, make the wilderness like super, super active. Like I'm not saying it's not active, but like all the kids are at Fortnite. You know, like all the kids are probably starting to play, like still playing League of Legends, right? To be yeah. honest with you, everyone here, most of us, 
and we've you know we've streamed this we've talked to people everyone is practically really old right like either late teens or in their 20s or in their 30s all of us are so like efficient driven you know most of us want to just uh, meet some goals do the goals complete the goals and the wilderness doesn't really have any of that it's just like i'm gonna kill someone you know like and then not many people are into that anymore and that's well, kind of like the culture no, they're, they're into it it's a lot of fun especially if you get like you know a fat combo or you like you win a 1v2 or something yeah like, oh, but that's the thing right the there. thing is that's is that it's not accessible it's not easy accessible to reach that you know a lot of people just don't want to do it just because mm -hmm. it, it, to them it's a burden than than it is Bryce, you're fun, right you there so yeah pretty much you go out to a certain area it's dry and then the person you do run into is either a bait a lure or a single clan uh and then yeah. you know and then the person who got attacked what do they do right they either don't go in the wild or they join a clan mm -hmm. they don't pk yeah. again on their own and then that just kind of builds to the problem with a domino effect and yeah, that's yeah. why and then the, the only people that want to pk want to be efficient but like and then they do the group stuff and then they find ways to escape really you know uh, efficiently and all that there were always yeah, single man, clans just, but yeah. um like two years ago they weren't as huge right you know you'd see a couple groups of people have in the wild you know like when you go to bandos bring your buddies but as the years gone on those guys have gotten slapped up talk shit destroyed and then those guys either quit or join and it just it's gotten to the point where is anyone not yeah, a clan anymore? Is anyone not a base anymore? Single clans have like kind of been nerfed in a way. Like you can't spec transfer in single anymore. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can't like hop special attacks with other people. Like let's say you drop your double D claws on someone and then you off them. Your teammate can't do a special attack on them for I think what is it like six or ten seconds or something. So you've got that much time to like either brew up or like combo like Manta Karambon brew or Angler Karambon brew. Nah, if you can't like see that. the guy, right? If you can't see the guy behind you and he's got max gear and every. Mm -hmm single combat that he could use hits over 40 it doesn't matter because you don't know what's yeah. coming right you right click the pile there's 12 mm. dudes you don't know who's attacking and by the time yeah, you get your food true. back up someone's clawing you already because the pj timer's not that long yeah um, that's like yeah. one change that could be done i don't know how the engine work would really combat with it but then again like they they really shouldn't be using engine work as an excuse anymore and i mean look at ash he rewrote the entire farming code when they and, the, and pretty much all the construction that. shit too like, yeah, that too. I'm saying one change they can make for like single yeah. clans to like, you know, kind of nerf it and give like the guy who's trying to get away or like fight it out a chance is whoever's attacking you is prioritizing the pile. So you see that sprite on top. That of should everything. be a huge thing. I don't know why it's not. That should not be a mechanic where you just yeah. have a shit ton of people stack on each other. <laughs> That's you know, a shitty so, mechanic. So what man. Do you, yeah, man, you, you're in the wilderness all the time, right? What do you think is the most pressing issue in the wilderness? Not enough personally Overall, it's not participation fun participation or is it clanning it's no, it planning no. or is it what is it clans yeah. i can deal with right now it's they definitely impact the wild in a negative way even though they say they don't and i don't know why they'll hit up like the most hot spotted part and then they'll camp it for like four hours and no one goes there anymore but what sucks is <laughs> actually toxic fucking pvmers dude with bulwarks and boxing <laughs> and one click teleports and then they'll talk shit while they're boxing Right, and they'll just oh, see like, oh, I'm man. watching Netflix, you piece of, you know, and they'll, you know, they're just dancing and shit with their bulwarks and their black. That's not fun to attack, dude. That is trash. And you have to be That's a cool. god to kill those guys, right? Because I, I think you were talking about something. Sorry to interject, but I think you mentioned this. Like a way to fix PvP <laughs> is have all the J mods like hop onto like you know a regular account with max mage. Like I'm talking ancestral, toxic staff of the dead, like everything. And then you have a guy literally wearing only three items. A bulwark, <laughs> behind top, and behind bottom. P and they, just, they cast barrage on it and see how often they hit. They have to count their splashes in a row before they land a hit. And then PvP will get fixed within a week. Oh, exactly, but, man. Well, they, they would basically <laughs> need, need to like change how magic defense works. That's that's that specific they issue. They could just nerf a that couple items, dude. And it they would probably a have a huge impact. Recently. Just take away the crystal shield. I'm I don't know why, but I fucking ah. that thing is so fucking tanky for what it's worth. Take yeah, away the bulwark. Really <laughs> take and the no. fact that you can like adjust how much charges you put onto it now with the new changes to crystal items, you can literally just slap ten shards on it or something or whatever it is, or like even like two shards and it's good for it's a like eighty k or something, dude. It's fucked, yeah. right? And then black D hide. Either have it magic defense or, or armor. Don't have it both. You can't have these hybrid gears where you can just tank everything without doing anything. There's got to be a prayer yeah. switch involved or some skill. Yeah. So the deal with D-High, though, I, I guess is that when it came out, 
it made sense because it was the best of the best. But the problem they had one drawback is that people could mass produce it on the fly. Mm-hmm. They so, can mass produce it. You can mass I, I, get it. Yeah, exactly. And so, like, I think the biggest issue really is just the mass producibility because if it was a limited item, like a Carol's, right, then you would actually be careful to bring that stuff because it's, you know, worth a lot, right? But the, the fact is you can just kill a black dragon and get, you know, kill like four of them and just make a DI set. <laughs> so easy. And yeah. there's, um, I have sorry, go fantastic right. idea. Yeah. This was, uh, I think it was either pure spam or Mank that suggested this. If you have a bulwark in your inventory or equipped while in a PvP zone, your run is permanently at zero. I had that yeah, idea. I agree with that. Yeah, we talked ago. about that one a while ago. I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Just Feels because bad. it's heavy as fuck. Like, how's your character even? I mean, let's let's be real, you know? Let's be real for a second. Yeah, here. but for the fact yeah. to not, like, shift away from, like, you know, PVM metas, like, rope skipping in, like, a raid speed run or something, like, it still works normally. But if you're in a PvP zone, you're weighed down by it. Yeah. You know, something that they could the do which would literally wilderness. just fix <laughs> this right here, right now, is... Yeah. um. Like, I just think back to the olden days with Barrage. Like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm pretty sure the Barrage back in the day when it first came out, like, I'm talking, like, 2002, 2003, that shit was a lot more accurate, right? So, like, Mage Bank PKers, Ma- Max Mage was effectively a Berserker Helm, a Whip, they didn't even use staffs half the time, a Rune Defender, Climbing Boots, and all they had for Magic Plus was Barrow Gloves, Arms Top and Bottom, Right? And mm-hmm. if it didn't matter if they were fucking um, ice barrage and a kid in full dehyde, it would hit a hundred percent of the time. Like the chances of splashing a barrage in that gear was like next to none. Was it? I like, don't really know. So you know, it, it was, dude. You can go back and watch like old PK videos. Like it was straight up a barrage would hit a ranger in full black dehyde ninety nine times out of a hundred. You see dudes barrage them with like rune plates and iron skirts, and they still hit that barrage. <laughs> but what I'm saying, if they were to increase the accuracy specifically just for the wilderness when it came to ice spells, if they increase the accuracy, they wouldn't have to worry about the dehyde issue or any of that stuff. It would just fix it itself. And I'm saying it would only be in the wilderness because obviously if that was the whole game, we'd yeah. get the meta of Barrage and Sarah Doman and Bandos all over again, which is still okay, somewhat okay. doable, but you know. I'd well, be like, okay with yeah, all yeah, magic like, spells in, increased. Yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah. Like, um, I'd be okay with everything increased. I splashed like 10... Tele blocks on a dude in full rune, like that shouldn't happen, right? Yeah, so I think it, what it is is the culture. Then it, it just comes down to the culture, because like, do you like people fleeing from the wilderness? That's what it comes down to. Because if you make it so that the barrage lands more often, then pretty much majority of the players will will hate you because you're effectively making PK easier, right? So like, because you know people want to run away from you, obviously, and a majority will want to run away from you. So I, 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 I get that would that, be a lot right? of people's concern, but then at yeah, the same time, you, think, like, you, you wouldn't. It's just tough fucking luck. If you go into the wilderness, prepare to die. That That's mindset's dead. It's an ungoverned yeah, 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 area yeah, yeah, you exactly. can get attacked out there. There's no civilization. Like, you Dude, know, yeah, we, I mean, I'm not saying biggest... I'm against it. I'm just saying a lot of people are going to not want that. I like yeah, right, so Mint's bringing up the, the biggest issue in the world right now. One of the biggest issues is the OP defense against mage basically like you can't catch them a kid which is in din's bulwark with black dehyde you're never going to catch barrage even when you're in like fringe mill gear simple solution just make the barrage way more accurate if people complain about that it's like well you're risking eleven thousand gold in black Mm -hmm. dehyde yeah this ancestral is going to hit 99 times out of 100 bet your ass that's how it should be the mm-hmm. people who complain yeah, about I the mean, wilderness are the same dudes who cheat on CSGO. I'm guaranteeing it. They're the same fucking people. Yeah, no, it's, it's just it's just the, the 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 thing you have to sympathize with is that a lot of these people don't really want to do any PvP. Exactly. They just kind of force them to go there. Listen, just go do something else. Listen, alternatives. Anybody in the wilderness is not forced there against their own will. Simple mm-hmm. as that, right? Don't care if you're a hardcore, if you're a regular RM on a regular account. If you go into the wilderness, it's at your own fucking accord. Even if you're right. like, oh, I had a clue scroll and the clue scroll step was in the then wilderness. You ultimately, the clue scroll. Yeah, exactly. Don't you go. <laughs> hey, I don't work. Work. Hey, man. Even better. Bring a whip. A clue scroll and a spade. That's what there I do. Go, right? No it, risk. So, so here, 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 go here okay, it. okay. All right. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. It's just puts their you know foot down and just say, look, this is how it's gonna be. All right. The wilderness is a place that is supposed to be, you know, penalty driven. We don't need bitch asses escaping, like running away from PKers and stuff. Either you fight or you die. Right, like that. That yep. that's what they need to kind of 
bring home is the whole idea fight or die or or not not fight or flight you know what i'm saying like there's no flight right because that's like the, the thing is people the flight away. is way too easy right now yeah, yeah that's yeah, the problem no. with it it's so like jagex would have to actually enforce that culture like yeah. fight fight or die no fight or flight you know what i'm saying basically yeah because that's the mentality like I said, we don't yeah. fix things on the podcast. We just complain yeah. about them. There's no way yeah. this is popping into the game. I mean, game. no, I'm just saying. Gagics, <laughs> Gagics, you know what I mean? They're the ultimate. They're the creator. They can do whatever the fuck they want. If they want to enforce that. They I think want to really add another Slayer dungeon way. to Falador D, they can, bro. That's what I'm talking about. I think that's just the only way mm-hmm. to enforce the culture. To make it so that, yeah, running away isn't, like, something that's really feasible or require a miracle i just wish that like both sides of the fence you know pkers and then pvmers i mean i wish it wasn't toxic against them so we could actually have a conversation it's just a conflict of interest that's the biggest problem no there's like segregation right if you pk you're a shithead if you vote no you're a shithead it's like because conflict of interest man that's literally what it comes down to this is majority of players is something i wanted to discuss with my like view on the stance of the state of the game involves the polling system big time Yeah, yeah, it's conflict of interest all the time between the polls. I feel like the polling system should have been used as like a suggestion, not like a make all yep. end all if something gets yep. into the game. Like obviously for things like the wilderness, that should like not Yeah, that should be a jack because in no way mm-hmm. is anything gonna pass. I mean, look at the last man standing rewards, look at the bounty hunter rewards. What fucking passed? Like a AGS not many. Yeah, and not many. Swift blade or something like that? Yeah, like, we can check. We <laughs> like literally nothing passed like is there... everyone was like so shocked when nothing passed it was like the majority of your game doesn't go in the wilderness for like anything we like, got the dagon high set and the god sword animation recolors whoop de do uh, <laughs> fantastic right. we like 20 rewards pulled we got one okay, we got no, some we got... shirts here that they're they're the oh, oh shit nah, that's not part of it that's not part of it they're trying to open <laughs> up a yeah. merch yeah, i mean they're, like they're... they all go hand in hand you know with the whole what because i think it just comes down to the 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 way that jagex if you want to go further down the rabbit hole, it just comes down to the way that Jagex uh, makes decisions. And mm-hmm. the way they're making decisions right now is, I would say, a bit irresponsible, to be honest, because they're relying too much on the community. Exactly. Right? That's, that's what it comes down to. Because like, if they want to enforce wilderness etiquette, making it a fight or die situation, they totally could. But the problem is every time they try to do it, they're always telling themselves, Wait, we should pull this because That's a terrible idea. <laughs> you know, because you know we don't yep. want backlash. But the problem is, is that if you obviously if you pull this, ninety percent of the players that, that obviously don't do any PvP, where it's gonna be like, of course I'm not gonna vote for this. This is, does not benefit me. It actually makes it harder for me to play this game. Dude. So obviously I'm gonna vote no. But Jagus mm-hmm. keeps thinking that maybe you know by chance by a miracle a majority of the player base will vote yes for something that doesn't benefit them. No, yeah. that's just not how that works. Right. Yeah. So, for, firstly, people that don't go into the worldy should yeah. either not be able to vote, or it should just not even be a vote at all. Jagex should put it in there. Yeah, and no, here is, here is my compromise to the PVMers. Yeah. I don't give a shit about people PKing you for your clue scrolls. I'd be 100% on board if Jagex come out with an update which said, right, you 100% of the time, if you die in the wilderness with a clue scroll to a player, you keep your clue scroll. And I'd be happy with that fucking compromise. Even if they got a full inventory of sharks, you always keep the clue scroll. Everyone's fucking happy. People go about their day, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? You know? You don't even need that. That could update. be the compromise. I mean, yeah, you don't need it. You either drop yeah. it on the floor or you bring a clue box with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, but, yeah, there's yeah a but that's too much effort for people. Like, uh, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing right now. No, no, Apparently, honestly, that's not enough. Clue scrolls are hella easy, dude. You just bring four item wrists. You, you don't lose shit. But what yeah, Rixie's yeah, saying is that these guys are so fucking lazy. They. <laughs> it hurts, man. All right, this is what just PVMers have, dude. Okay, just this is what him, you know? for those yeah. who are hating on PKers. This is what you guys have versus us. All right, all right. Other than all the gear setups that don't cost much, rune gloves, fucking diary items that give magic bonus, untradeables, non-risk. Okay, you also have fucking boxing, PJ peeing on your time, dude. All right. You can box a monster and brew down, and that's an escape option for you. And there's so many aggroed monsters in the wild. There's yeah, also I've done it before when I had two K black chins in my inventory. Yeah. I was like, well, this is the way out. Just wait for the like the teleport yeah, time. I, to I, I never die at chins, dude. You can <laughs> bring flowers. Dude. You can staff with <sighs> a dead special attack. You can gap people. Right? Magic defense. One click teleports. How the fuck are you dying? In the if you can talk shit in the wilderness, you can tank. All right, it is so fucking easy for you guys. PKers Dude. have none of this. 
What, what, what if they, all right, what if they playing. pulled yeah. what if they pulled a new mechanic for boxing? I'd love to see this. Right? I well, had so many bad. ideas for it. That'd be what, amazing. What if, dude, if they made it so like if you're boxing another player in the wilderness and you hit a certain amount of zeros, or it can it can track your stats. So if you're brewed down to like one. So if you're if you're boxing another player after 30 seconds, it is like a coin flip that one of you is about to just disappear. Like you're about to get <laughs> 99 HP. All of your shits on the floor. When you say disappear, you mean like that? Nah, <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, like that. really, what it just comes right? down to is all these fixes. Jagus needs to do it without the polling system. Now, see, they yeah. had something like that in Dead Man mode, that's where you're boxing just... something for an extended period of time, like you know, not inflicting significant damage over the course of I think like 15 seconds or something. You could get PJ by somebody, and then yeah, it's yeah. just in Dead Man mode, whether it was with a player or with an NPC. But yeah. dude, like this idea is even better. So like, if you're if you're fighting, you say a pull. hobgoblin. And you're down to one HP. No, you're not. You don't. And then just all go of a sudden, you're playing melee. <laughs> but, but the wilderness, whatever the wilderness spider or the wilderness uh, P NPC is, it notices that you're a weak foe, and it goes into straight wilderness rage and just starts smacking tents. Bang, it smites ten, you, ten, right? Ten, 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 and smites you at the same time. And so then, like you. boxing and just isn't you. a good idea. And there, it, just, bank. it just tries to destroy you. They should have that up there. If you're an empty iron, you if you're an iron man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then Rakes, you had this idea too. All right, this could be a really skillful way to deter boxing. Uh, the first two seconds you hit an NPC, you can get PJ. Right. So if somebody's on top of you, you can't box. They're gonna get on top of you. Uh, it would be skillful too because you'd have to maneuver your way around other NPCs, which is kind of yeah. a skill in itself. But. If you can just box right away and you can't PJ, there's there's no skill. It's just set in stone X log. But if you can get right, on so, somebody, maybe so no. I think the biggest wilderness suggestion out of all of this that we've come across that we've agreed on is that Jagex needs to do the updates on their own for wilderness. Mm -hmm. They need to PK, man. All right, you can't have people who don't PK popping updates. It doesn't make sense. Go well, PK. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just more on board to support this just because it's pretty BS. If any J mods are watching, man, anything past, all right, I love you, but go in the wild, bring some Zerk and Robes, bring a buddy. I don't care if you're bad; it's still gonna be fun. I mean, I think it's obvious to them that everything they pull PvP wise that is significant just won't pass. Well, obviously they're unsure, right? Pull up their pants. I mean, no, they at this point you can't be unsure because it's been a thing; it's been a trend for years. How can you not be sure? Well, they're unsure what to really think because they don't go in the wild they're just taking people's words for it that's why they want so many suggestions and when Dude, they get suggestions they, they don't know how to deal with them. no there, there's no there's yeah, no they have suggestions but just, they can't think about like the polls like, you know just look at the polls my dude look at all the pvp polls that should never they don't they just don't pass it's been like that for right years. how's don't that read. not so how's that not strong evidence i have an okay I'll read. Read. i i i 100 agree with you yeah. And I think it'd be really good if Jagex were to just have the power when it just just the wilderness they can do whatever they yeah, are. They but have to. They have on the to. other on the other end of it. They need feedback. They need feedback. No, no. Well, that's what I'm about to say. On the yeah. other end of it, allowing mm -hmm. them to have a hundred percent like free reigns of the wilderness, they can do what they want with it. I'm down for that. So long as there's a mm -hmm. safety net at the end of it, which is effectively a reverse poll system. Which so yeah, say yeah, for example, they can say get for rid example, of it. you know what I'm saying? They can yeah, get yeah. rid of it if there is that that has enough. to be the promise. So yeah. say they're bringing the Karasi into the wilderness. That's just a random one. I oh, personally don't want not. it. I know a lot of people no, do. So man. if they were to bring the Karasi <laughs> like into that. the wilderness, <laughs> at the end of like say a two week trial, there's a poll, which is should we remove it or should we keep it? And maybe specifically only allow people uh. that have used it. To be able to nah, vote on I, I don't think it should be uh, against it, 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 it'll, it'll be the same problem again. But it should just be a survey. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, you get you need to you need to gather feedback, right? And then ultimately, Jagus has to weigh the the pros and the cons, right? Themselves, not not what the numbers of like 75 percent, 100 percent guarantee, not like that. Just just wherever the feedback is, they look at it. They they look at it from all sides. You know, PVM, PVP, yada yada. And then they make the ultimate decision, all right? And then, of course, after the update comes out, they can still gather feedback, see how the people are reacting to it. Because here's here's how the psychology works. It's pretty straightforward. This is a good example, right? So remember when Voy got nerfed without polling? Mm -hmm. right? And Zora too. That was yeah, a good so, time. So Voy uh, was initially twenty percent damage because the uh, you know it's it, it was a messed up code and it's been like that for years. And and one day just. Out of nowhere, they just nerfed that to 10%. And guess what? It's 10% to this day. 
because what happened is people actually started realizing that it was it was fair. It just made sense. Oh, the first like, day everyone was like, yeah, yeah, writing, of course, right? The first day, and exactly, you know, yeah, you the first it. few days, people were like, oh my god, you did this. But then honestly, after a week, people start, you know, get making sense. It it just makes sense now. It's like, you know what? That shit was busted. I can buy armor or something like that. That's just mm-hmm. kind of like how it works. You bring an update that's reasonable to the, to your best ability. You think it's reasonable. You bring it out, and if you know by a week or two, they they can see that people are adjusting to it. Then there's no need for them to do anything about it because it's just. It's well, yeah, but if you still get some feedback, like I like that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know about like saying. a reverse okay polling, <laughs> yeah. right? That's because what I'm saying. it should be gather feedback after the update. So they I, I just, see. I, I personally, I'm so for them to have like full reigns mm-hmm. of the wilderness. However, looking at the past and like looking at the present, and that's clear that they have no fucking idea what they're doing, considering the shit that they poll. There should that's be something bad. which is like, oh. If we do mess up, we will remove this from the wilderness. Yeah, exactly. Because, and that's where the feedback comes in later. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. As, lo- as long as there was that shows- safety net, I'd be more than happy of letting them do what they want. Well, like, it can't be a guaranteed safety net. It's just something about faith. You know what I'm saying? It's just the faith that if if there is enough negative feedback after the update, then they, they should be able, they should be doing something about it right yeah. not 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 like the way that it's like 75 percent. yes that means it all happens dude, i don't want that stuff i don't know man i'm not as yeah. i guess i don't have as much trust as you but I, in my eyes it's more than faith it needs to be written and it needs to yeah, say no, yeah 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 write it down up, but we not, will remove not, this. i just don't want it to be a 75 percent if it's yes it automatically happens no, no, it doesn't, want that. That it, it doesn't want have that to be like that at all no yeah i just want it to be yes you gather feedback after the update and then if it, it just turns out really sour then of course remove it Right, yeah. stuff like that. Not, not like, a, not like the seventy-five percent. I just hate the way that it is set up right now. Mm. That it's guaranteed yes or no if it's past a certain percent. It's so BS. Now exactly. we we were talking I don't about think everything should be bold. That Jagex yeah. gets PVP suggestions all the time, right? And you, right, as you said that's all they need. Okay, that's um, what they should do. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. But let me give you an analogy because they don't they don't PK and they get a bunch of suggestions. So pretend sure. that you are going to invest in the stock market and you ask two friends. And they both have opposing sides. You should invest here. You should invest here. How would you know which one's going to be better if you've never invested before? Yep. Dude, it's well, the yeah, exact I mean, same. It's the same as like League of Legends and Riot and the balance. Yeah, team. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's it's like, like the same with any you, game. You hear that shit all the time. Yeah. Game if, you, if you look at League of Legends, it's like most of the people that balance the game are they silver play the players. Game. They're yeah. silver, They're right? Which is cool. like... You basically start in silver. You've never played the game before. You're more than likely going to get silver. And they're the people that get to balance the game. And, and be it's, like, hey, this champion's there. Riggs, you remember it's when the they, like, what, what one of them played Master Yi? And then, like, the next week, it got nerfed, right? Because he played <laughs> it, right? That well, was it. It, like, it has his drawbacks, though. Free win for him, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, I, you, can, you can say that, oh, well, they don't play the game, so... They can't they, gauge it. They don't but go in the thing, wild at all. I mean, but the how thing is, know? it's the same problem. If they play the game and they actually have a stake in it, they would actually abuse it themselves. I mean, they abuse would change it. something to... They, yeah, they already abuse it. That. They've, they've already done, done that done for that. PVM yeah. and skilling and all that shit. Yeah, that's yeah. What they do, I, I just so. don't... I mean, I don't think it really matters. It's just... Well, it's everyone's just had... um. What's what's that called? Like Slice of Life or just uh, yeah. life updates pretty much for everything else but PvP. And it's so it makes it better. And it might be. Um, I mean, I'm not biased. a big fan of a lot of these quality of life shits. I'll no. be well, you know, I mean, a lot of people like them. Like, it might be biased. I mean, yeah, because they, they, they get but... used to it. Because they get used to it, and they, you know, they just start accepting it. But the like wilderness doesn't change. have that shit, though. There's no quality of life in the wild, bro. It's because no, no one. They don't go in the wild. They don't I mean, know well, what they need. Well, even if there was, people vote no. That's well, the they don't. You can't really vote no on quality of life updates. This shit. Oh, well, Agatha's shirt is now a darker purple. You know, it's like, ah, shit, I can't vote no. I mean, like, if it benefits. P cares quality of life, then yeah, it'll never pass. What what I'm just saying is pretty simple, bro. They they need to gather the feedback, weigh their options, and then make the decision on their own. I'm just that. saying, if they go in the wild, yeah. they'd be ever be able to make. Sure, I mean, yeah, right. sure, include that in there. I'm, I don't, I'm not against it or anything. I'm just saying it's like it really. I don't think it matters a we? lot. All right, boys, so, yeah. boys. I said we wrap sure. it up on the PVP tangent because we spoke about it for the majority. We gotta talk yeah, about I mean, the bounty hunter, bro. That's perfectly fine with me. I like remember, you're the one that brought it. Wait, wait, wait. Back into it pretty soon. <laughs> Cold one. You wanted to talk about the state of the game. So, do you have any specific issues in areas of the game that well, you want to Cold talk one? About? Would you say surprisingly, we actually just talked about a big one, not so much about the the pvp sense but the whole polling sense and that kind of yeah, just trickle into pvm as well would you say way. the integrity kind of looks like this 
Uh, uh, am I making too many of those shit? I, I honestly think that looks better than Game Integrity right now. I actually think that looks I better. mean, like, they, they've they moved into the right step, because I used to hound them for not hiding the poll results. That's great. Integrity-wise, that's a great move, but the percent thing is, like, the next hurdle they gotta get rid of. Yo, can you hound them for, like, thing. you know, an authenticator delay? Because it's been five years now, and we still don't have it. And people are actually bugging me proper for, like, the solo TOB guide, and I said I wouldn't release it until an authenticator came out, so... Like, can you use, like, you know, a little bit of your YouTube influence and your Twitch influence? I mean, I, I think the percent thing is, you know, like, because, like, the thing with security is if you two step, if you two factor your account and your email, you're pretty good. Yeah, Gooby, Gooby just got hacked recently. He had all of that, and then he was hacked through Bankpin, kind of the same way as Hayes was. He just yeah, I think what happened is he probably had a backup email because that's how Hayes got hacked, too. He had everything. So like, his account was just as secure as mine. And well, Brandon Mines have been hacked, but I think his email might have just been compromised or like leaked. Yeah, email no, I, I, like well, I'm pretty Who sure knows? he just had a weak email on the back end that was part of his connected to his email because that's how Ace got hacked. He didn't realize his PayPal email was connected to his RuneScape account's email. Yeah, see, but, my PayPal email is completely different. Mine actually just has my name in it. Both my emails for login and for confirmation. Yeah, I think you're a good. Jumbled mess. It's just an alphanumeric that makes no sense that I've written yeah. down on a notepad in my drawer. Yeah, no, you're you're good. You're good in that case. Oh, nice, uh, nice overlay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, account security is one thing. You know yeah, I mean, they should have the events care delay, but Jag is being stupid again from that one. But yeah, yeah I just think that the whole players percent. properly. And yeah, the percentage thing is it. big, though, man. I just hate the whole, like, if it's past a certain number, it's guaranteed. Like, there's no, there's no, like, objective reason why that. It's not even a factual thing. There's no, like, no, no nothing is like that in, the, in, in real life or in any voting. It's not a, certain percentage we just randomly put that number there mm -hmm. and we just agree to it but we shouldn't agree to that it just shouldn't even be a certain threshold we should happened. vote on the number we oh, well if we vote the number it's, it's we had a vote to break it down to 70 percent and that didn't pass but yeah, it should just know. be random numbers dude you just like 69 73 I mean, yeah, 44 I, I just don't think we need a threshold at all that should be something that jagex the owner of this game should ultimately decide the updates, right? Yeah. Based on the I mean, yeah. I kind of gets yeah. to my point where like not everything should be pulled or like, a, or not everything all, like should end be. all of something should get in. Yeah. Like, let's say something like gets like seventy four percent, and it's not like a big update like warning. Like that obviously should be like pulled because that's massive. But let's say something like the green pixel on the construction icon, like that shouldn't be pulled. That should just be taken out. I'd say we had more. Something like menial like that. that that's a controversial cool. subject, man, because I like that green pixel. I'd say we get four. <laughs> well, like, hey, if they get rid of it, I don't even care, dude. You know, exactly. I'm quitting. Looks like you're the minority in this case. And hey, majority rules. I'm walking out, Rigsy. You, you with me, dude? We both <laughs> yeah. take our channels and leave? All right. <laughs> no, just, it, it just has a greater context. The greater context to me is just a matter of who should be responsible for updates and it should be us mod mark be. should be that man has yeah, it should be Jagex, still beautiful ultimately. you know he they're the owners the of this call. game but that and that yeah, it sucks because they're putting one, too much responsibility thing. i hate i hate the fact that they're putting so much responsibility on the players without see the players don't even realize it but we're actually the babysitter to Jagex, mm -hmm. and it's and it sucks because he, i'm here to play the game bro i'm not here to you know you make know what to tell them what to do bro you know what I mean, I hate that. Yeah. So we're talking big... about the polling, right? Seventy-five percent. You know yeah. what? You know what campaigning is, though, right? In IRL, sure. campaigning. Yeah, you get it's your... fair. Fifty percent is fair. That's no. It's well, I mean, like they go out and they campaign their side, and they get you on their side, and you vote. And I feel like that's also a problem because a lot of people uh, and the I higher up. Normal. I think that's no how it's because all, people how it will well, maybe. Well, the thing is, but man, how are you ever gonna? They'll bot Reddit for likes, right? Yeah. To post their memes about that shit. Yeah, they'll tweet. Suppose, yeah. uh, no, all this shit happens, dude. Right? If they don't okay, want an update the past, they'll go out of their way to campaign it. They'll go on thirty accounts and vote. I mean, yeah, these things happen. But like, but man, I, I, I don't think there's a way to stop people from influencing another person. Well, I'm just saying it's a problem, that, right? That is a but problem. We can't, ever, we can't fix that, though. That's a very normal yeah. thing. That's just people being cheapish, man. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's nothing we can do to stop that, bro. There's, you got streamers like, who'd be like, just, uh, they'll ban you if you vote no on a certain thing. I've, I've seen that happen before. Yeah, um, but well, how are we ever going to stop that? I'm not I'm saying, saying we, stop it. I don't think we've come up with any solutions here. There's no, right? But the thing is, just, I'm just saying it's a problem. I'm just saying it's a problem. If you see someone campaigning, you should be like, hey, don't be a dickhead, all right? P let people vote. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. But that's a cultural thing. But what I'm just saying is the whole accountability is, is that ultimately Jagex needs to make the decision. 
Yeah, pretty much. Based they on need feedback, to, like, you know, based you on know, take control of their own game. Yeah. And that was one thing I wanted to tie into the RuneFest reveals at the end of the, like, Mauritania boss they're releasing. And they said, like, you know, the rewards will be handsomely rewarded, and that's where you come in. We have no <laughs> rewards to show you. Oh, dude, you that's going to figure so out hard. First. That pissed me yeah. off so yeah. much. Yeah, man, I, I, I wish you were sat next to me. I was sat next to Kemp, and as soon as they said that, I just looked at him and I was like, that is a fucking cop out Dude, and a me half. And, <sighs> me and fucking Frame looked at each other and started laughing when Karen said that shit. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. yeah I, it is. It's bought, man, there's, there's like no yeah. element of surprise to the game, you yeah, know? Rexy, you know, it, it, it's literally PTSD from warding not passing. That's, yeah. that's straight up what it is. Because they like, spent so much time planning and all that crap and it didn't pass. They're like, like just rip off that you know what i mean all that work right dude yeah. what i would love Absolutely. jagex to do and i think this would increase like they could make this game absolutely amazing in my opinion right if they just came out and said look guys we're not polling shit anymore we're just doing what the fuck we want with our own game and if we mess up down the way we're gonna revert it and we're gonna change it back I'd be so happy with that, honestly. I'd much prefer I, that than the system. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I want I'm the tired of this shit. System, like, as long as yeah, a feedback system's fine. But like, when you think about it, like pre EOC and stuff, like obviously the other they server, had we we always yeah. go back to. It's like what went wrong with that, and I feel like I'll it's tell good, you what went wrong. It's very good to basically. study history, right? And what yeah. went wrong with that was the path it took, which was basically microtransactions. That was the path it took. They fucked up big time, destroyed the game, made it nothing like it actually was. It's like. Clearly, they're going to learn from that. When people I start think, to I think there was the game, two reasons. they're going to backtrack. Yeah, and now they just sell reasons. t-shirts. So that's, and like, that's yeah, one yeah, second. Yeah. Like, if, yeah, I may, if I may quickly, like something for me recently that kind of scared me, another game that I love to play. I love playing League of Legends, right? It's no, like, everybody knows at this point. They've just come out with, like, their 10-year anniversary. They're talking about changing the game. They're putting oh, some huge... That. They're putting some big changes into the game, which are potentially game-changing changes. Like they these things are. are huge, right? They're massive. This could this could make or break the game. It could go one or either way. I'm excited to see what happens, and I firmly believe that as a company, as soon as they stop fucking making money and they're fucking, you know, the people logging in every day goes down, they're gonna be like, oh shit, we messed up. Yeah, We're it's a survival this. thing. Yeah, but exactly. I mean, you know Grace, what? You kind of build on yours a little bit with your whole League of Legends thing. And yeah. I'm sure you 100% agree with this, too. You ever notice how Riot balances around skins being released or skins being available again? Yeah, you remember yeah. when Kha'Zix got buffed, like, two months ago, right before the championship skins became available again? Like, why did Kha'Zix get this random 10 AD buff? Oh, yeah, the champion skins are coming back out, and championship Kha'Zix is coming out. Yeah, they've just yeah, done that to Akali as well. Exactly. Like, Akali got a buff just before Worlds. But, uh, so. I, I, think, I think there were two big issues, though, with, with the original RuneScape. One was MTX. And one was the inability for Jagex to, to gather feedback properly. Because back then, we did not have something like the polling system that could give you a direct number of people saying yes or no. We didn't have Twitter either. We didn't have Twitter, which houses a lot of high-level players. We didn't have Reddit, which houses a lot of, you know, the casual players. Stupid players. A mix of everything. A mix of everything, right? We, all, uh, we also didn't have Twitch back then where, where you can see people's reactions live. Stuff like that, right? There was just no proper... All they had was the shitty forums. Like, how many people even used the forums? Barely anybody. It was like a minor, super minor. I used it too, but like, I could tell that it was very, very underused. Yeah. So Dude, back then, honestly, there was just no feedback. They couldn't properly gauge anything. I, or, I or think... One, you can, one could argue maybe too much feedback now, but honestly, I don't think there's ever too much feedback. You can... Dude, Definitely I, it, but that. That, that's the thing. It's not even yeah. feedback right now. Like yeah. the, the whole polling system for old school RuneScape has created its entire culture, right? Yeah. Which is a very toxic, like fucking boy. Oh yeah, report, because of the threshold is, thing. If they yeah, get which, rid of that, it'd be way better. It, it's, it's like it's created a bunch of people who are super entitled and feel the need to voice fucking everything. And this is how the game should be. This is how the game shouldn't be. Blah blah blah. It doesn't fucking matter what the individual cares or wants. It's about what the actual company well, wants to do. Well, the thing is, it. is the and if they see culture. It, they need to get rid it, of that. It's so. like at the end of the day, dude, I would 100% put my faith in fucking Jagex to make this game long term, long lasting, than I would some fucking retard on Reddit. As simple as that. Well, well the thing is that, that one guy on Reddit can't 
amount to you know Rexy. I think the retards on Reddit also agree. They're just they just don't know how to stop themselves. It, it's just, just it's just the culture, <laughs> man. It's, it's just so uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's just it's just the threshold culture. I just I don't I don't mind knowing a certain percentage that wants something and wants not. You know what I mean, it's cool because that way it's definitive. But the thing is, I just don't want the threshold. They just need to get rid of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like dude, that way is the balance. Because la- in the in the past there was there was just no feedback. And Jagex made out all the calls without feedback, but but now there is feedback. But the problem is, is that isn't it isn't Jagex that makes the calls; it's the players. What needs to happen is you make Jagex make the calls, and you get the feedback from the players to decide. Yes. Do you right? think that's dude, the perfect balance? That's what what, what you just said need. is a fix right there, man. Yeah, that is the Ch- fix. Ch- like, change it's so obvious, but the thing is, they need to do it. That's like change the polling system from will we either come in, yes or no, to what do you think if this were to come in. Yes or no, and then they can go off of the results and be like, yeah, okay, sixty five percent of like, people want it. Because Let's like it. it's the same reason why I would hound someone for hiding the poll results. How obvious do I need to make it? You know what I'm saying? Like, how would you like how do you how do you say how do you defend that you're you're gonna not hide the poll results, right? It's like it's the same, it's just the same obviousness. It's that obvious. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, they just have to do it. I, I don't mm. understand what's taking them so long. One day. And then they finally yeah. did it. Because they look, they do it, it right. They they finally do it. Guess what? They are gonna actually cater to some PvP for once, and then you know the PvP crowd's happy. They get to do something about it that makes it feel like they're they're not getting cheesed out. Imagine they're if that happens, hard. and then every time yeah, you like, get killed for that day, they just give you compliments. You know, it's just like the compliment. And then, and then on the on, on the non PvP side, I don't have to f- deal with like Jagus being like catering to all these quality life bullshit. Because I hate the fact that for a while all they kept doing was like. Okay, should we introduce this quality of life? Do you want five hundred dollars? Yes or no? It's like obviously they're gonna say yes. Like what? What do you? What else? I mean, you know what I mean? It's so obvious. Like, bro, make the make that decision on your own, please. Use the feedback to help you decide. Just don't make it like a seventy five percent. Yes. Oh, it comes out like I hate that man. It's I, I don't hate it because you know out of no reason because because it's just. They need to do that themselves. It's their responsibility. Dude, I love how passionate yeah. Reed gets about this, man. Yeah, but I mean, because it's yeah. just logical. I've, <laughs> you know, you know I mean, I, you think about it over and over again. It just comes down <laughs> to the same conclusion, right? My, yeah, my best like, friend loves the game. We want yeah, to see it thrive yeah. and like, prosper. Yeah. Dude, my best friend in real life, he doesn't watch the podcast or anything, but he knows I do one. And yeah. I remember describing like Mint and Re. And I said, like, I was talking about Re, and I was like, Re's an awesome dude. I was like, we care about very different things in the game, and we, we do very different things in the game. And I said, I'm very passionate about certain things. And I'm like, and there's things I'm passionate about that he isn't that passionate about, but you can see it. And I said, but whenever it comes to the polling system, the polling uh-huh. system, I'm like, dude, this guy will not shut the fuck up, dude. Like, he will go <laughs> on and on. Cause, cause he like, loves running about it, man. Because <laughs> it, it's the single biggest factor that leads to all the problems. You know it's the biggest flaw of the game. It was yeah, supposed to be like the founding point of the game, like the fulcrum, yeah. like what decided the game. But now it's beca- gone from like its biggest aid to its biggest crutch. Yeah, yeah. Do you it, think was the, double, it was a double-edged sword. Do you think the polling system bred those runescape egos? Like, oh, 100%. Yeah. I feel like because they have more control, they feel like they have more power, and that power leads to well, them knowing yeah, exactly. what's right when they don't know what's right, and because, then they have an ego. Because once the majority realized that they can pretty much control the game how they see fit through the polling system, it was it was going to go downhill from there. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know what I mean, anything that the majority doesn't like, it won't it won't pass. All right. Can we squeeze in the bounty hunter rework though? Sure, sure. Absolutely. All right. I'm gonna cause... go try this later, like after we end. <sighs> All righty. So the bounty hunter rework with its new animation for the AGS is coming into the game now? Is it in now? Right? I yeah, know. I think so, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how it works is there's different point system and there's a different emblem system. Well, it's the same, but it doesn't go as high, right? You get up to tier five and then you get points and then you trade the emblems for GP, but not points. So it's pure cash and points. Am I right? I don't, Something I haven't like read that, this. Yeah. I haven't like fully read it through, but okay. I'm just more concerned with like, it, I logged into the beta just for a little bit and I've seen like videos on Twitter and I like it enough for the fact that we're testing it and like the changes that are coming in. I like it because it's so incredibly easy to find a fight now. Now it's not beta, right? Someone told me it's going to be in it beta. Is. It's yeah, it's, it's uh, currently in beta right now. You're, you now have to go live. to the beta world. Yeah, it's so it's live. not live in the game. Then. No, it, it it's not live in the game, but you can log into a beta world right now, like four hundred one or four hundred five. Oh, okay, okay. Thank yeah. God. I thought they just slammed this into the fucking game. 
Oh, that makes me feel much better. Um, okay, sweet. I'm going to test that out too. All right, so pretty much every 10th kill you get 25 points, but that'll give you bon bonus points for like 50 a kill. Um, you'll get 50 points, 175. Uh, there are also tasks you can complete, like a Slayer task. So if you kill two targets without leaving the wilderness, you get an extra 10 points. Um, I think they cycle, so you can't really choose which one you can do. They, it, it'll just give it to you. So if you kill any target without using any prayer, extra 10 points. And these points will go into a shop that isn't really fully made. Right now we just have, I think, uh, Godsword Animation Recolors and the Dagon High Set Recolor. Is that a recolor on that? I'm not sure. Yeah, well, isn't it they use like the thing to turn an existing equipment? Is was it the uh I haven't got to the emblems yet. I'm just talking oh, about the point okay. system so far. Yeah. Just yeah. making it to the points. Um also uh -huh. updated interface. The collapsible BH interface has been updated. Your target's display name, the wilderness level, whether they have multi-zone combat, highest tier. Uh, eligibility for an emblem upgrade, a button to see your current task, so you can see which one you got up here. Um, a time remaining on your task, so apparently these tasks are time sensitive, so you can't, uh, you know, just cheese them. And a button to get a new task. I don't know if it's uh, limited, maybe one or two task changes per hour or something. Uh, and then here is the new emblem rework. It only goes up to tier fives. And I think if you kill someone, you don't get their emblem, you only upgrade. So it disappears. If you kill someone for like a tier five, it'll just disappear and you get an upgrade. You're trying to take oh. away emblem farming. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. That was, that was an issue in Bounty Hunter for sure. Yeah, and that's how they're tackling it. And if you have any existing emblems, you could trade them in for cash. Uh, flat rate of two mil for a tier 10. But it's not in the game yet, so you don't have to worry about this just, just yet. Uh, yeah, pretty much covered the majority. I don't know if I'm missing too much here. Well, you talked about two updates, and that's all the past, pretty much. So, uh -huh. I mean, that's PvP updates. And that's <laughs> that's well, what we've been waiting for. Uh, there's also yeah. other changes. So, uh, yeah. Hey, fuck it. If you want, all right, a minimum of 30 combat is now required. Okay, you no longer have to wait six minutes to get a new target after dying. Thank God. I, that's great, honestly. Because you can't farm emblems, so you don't have to worry about that dumb shit. Uh, after killing your BH target, no player may attack you for 20 seconds. I think it used to be like 15 seconds. Did they, did they up the PJ timer? That's good. And then teleport to target spell teleports you to the danger side. So if somebody was camping the edge ditch, it would teleport you into the safe zone, and then they just run in. So now it's always going to teleport you into the danger side, which is... Good, but I hope they don't find any lures for that. Cause there definitely is. Yeah, there's always some. If it's going to teleport you to a site no matter what, people will abuse that somehow, and that's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and there's also the room pouch lean bag change, I think. You just have fun listening to me read things, don't you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> of course I do. Your voice more? is very soothing. You could definitely tell me a bedtime story, and I'd fall asleep <laughs> with the biggest smile on my face. God damn it. Um... Fuck sure me. Content, all right looting bag tradeability we have opted to do the following for your feedback so you can indirectly purchase rune pouches using gp what the mm. fuck yeah, I mean, so no, more, uh, no more iron Man complaining saying oh i have to go do wilderness slayer for this thing i have to go do bounty hunter and risk my stuff or like farm emblems now you can just buy the thing I think they just like to play. complain don't they fuck me dude I mean, yeah that, that's what we're built on i mean I mean, it's also the human race in general. If we don't have something to That's complain true. about, we'll try and find something to complain about. I, I mean, America. I don't mind this because it's a GP sync, so sign me up. <laughs> I, I think the GMall GP sync is fucking brilliant as well. That one was fantastic. Yeah. Fucking yeah, expensive, fantastic. though, but brilliant. Hey, 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 you want to use something that broken? You pay for it. <laughs> fucking expensive, man. I'm poor. Uh, yeah, uh, bitch. <laughs> That's... Stop being poor. Right, that's the PvP update we've been waiting for. Uh, the point system. Woo, it'll, you know. is okay, fair. okay, guys, guys, let's this go. Is, this is the thing. This is, literally, this paragraph down, man, is huge. This one is. Oh, actually, my bad. I miss. Um, we want with the merch. The merch add on. Yo, want to buy a shirt, bro? They got some Runefest shirts. I got like fifty shirts. I don't need it. Only um, if they give me a new one, I'll shout it out. <laughs> okay, what am what am I missing? Uh, this. Right here, we've made a glaring oversight. If you straight down, okay, percent. we've made a glaring oversight by allowing the room pouch and looting bags to be tradable. The ability to own multiple versions would occur by default. 
The result of the poll contradicted what we sh uh, said we should like to do, which leaves us in a tough spot. So I think they polled if you want multiple rune pouches. Uh, we identified some potential options, and we've opted to do the following. We'll poll making rune pouches and looting bags tradable uh, so you can own multiple, and the poll following upcoming Twisted League polls to out. Come up the poll would be super said. I don't know that fucking word. Super seed. Fuck you. Super All seed. right. Super, <laughs> fucking smart ass over here. Supersede the previous poll questions. We appreciate that it's not ideal, and we apologize firstly for the inconvenience. Secondly, we do not, for not giving the design of the poll its due diligence. In the meantime, rune pouches are obtainable only via Slayer Reward Shop or the Bounty Hunter Shop. So apparently it's just they're going to poll it yeah. again. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to throw something out there when they make the change where you can have multiple looting bags and rune pouches. Don't have multiple for like the first week because you know there's going to be some huge bug with it. Where you lose <laughs> yeah, shit. yeah, for sure. You just never take it out again, or you put a no, looting bag in a looting bag. Beta just, wait a week, just wait a just, week yeah. until they either hot fix I would, it. I would say like, let them beta it. beta test it for a week. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. In the beta worlds. Yeah, don't be like so hyped to like get a second rune patch for the sake of convenience, or like a second looting bag for the sake of convenience. Just wait a week until it gets fixed, so you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. In other yeah. news, there's no MTX, but if you guys want to buy like a cup. Or a dragon? Yo, there's a big one too. Uh, sorry, can I mention this one? Uh, we would also like to offer rune pouch to come from other thematically fitting content like mage training arena, which should have been a, it should have been that way Ooh. the whole time. Honestly, That'd be if cool. the community prefers they uh, remain untradeable, this can be made a a higher priority. Restore some of the items accessibility. What if you could yeah. farm the mage training arena for rune pouches and sell That's them? That's what it's supposed to. Be. That'd, That'd be, be cool. Being farmed by bots for fucking for yeah. infinity boots and master ones. Lots yeah, of been doing oh wait, time. I thought you were talking about the um the deep lily mage area. Fuck. Oh no 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want mage training arena. Fuck <laughs> that. That shit. No no. Sucks, it's saying as an option. I think then it's. An, as, I think it's. An option. I know. I know. I was just hoping yeah, it would be the deep lily one. I don't. Yeah. I don't think they said it has to be. It's just an option because it should have been an optional thing for. Really if they were to make it, it makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. If they were to make it though, um, in the um. What's it called? Mage Bank area. Dude, it could make so much activity for Mage Bank again if you could farm rune pouches and sell them over there. That'd be sick, mm -hmm. dude. But that's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, like, well, with the polling system. <laughs> <laughs> right. That'd be really Yeah, cool. no. Um, I do like the idea of multiple rune pouches. Just make it obviously so that you can only take one out at a time. Duh. Right? For Why? Why? Why wouldn't you want multiple? I mean... That shit would be overpowered if you can bring, like, if you can fit in, like, power. In 16 runes in, like, three inventory. You know what I'm saying? Like, four inventory spaces. More risk, like, more reward, insane. baby. That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah. It's just for PVM, it would be busted. That's what I'm saying. Oh, for PVM, so, yeah, I don't know. It would I, be insanely I, busted for PVM. That, that yeah, makes sense. I, I, I think you're right, Ray. I think it, yeah, it would be the main I think, I think one is definitely, like, it should just be a one thing. One, one pouch in, in your inventory at, at a time. Or else you're just going to break the game. Having like twenty different types of runes in in your inventory. Oh yeah! Wait. Oh my god! I don't know why they're even doing this, but hey ho, it passed. Oh well. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else we want to cover? Right. Can now? we all agree uh, that Mortania sucks as a place in RuneScape before we end? Uh, it's just a cash grab it's, because of the settled series. That's why they expanded. I love you, settled. Reveal. But going through that fucking town is ass. All right, and I never want to do it again. You got to go in and out and across some fucking. Uh, laundry lines and shit. Yeah, yeah you're talking about my garbage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm garbage. actually, I've actually got high hopes for this, man. I'm hoping that they're gonna make it into like a really cool little city. Yeah, as long as I don't like, gotta enter that enter, area again. Fuck. Like me. honestly, dude, I'm there. I'm there for the black graceful. Um, obviously <laughs> the new boss. Uh, the new <laughs> boss. I hope it's good. I hope the rewards are, you know. Rice, are you actually yeah. stoked about Black Graceful? Is that something well, you're actually excited I'll about? I'll be honest with you. I don't have a recolor Graceful, so I think the black one just resonates with me. It's oh, like, do you know, do you know the vial of bloods you get from Fur of Blood? Are they expensive? No, they're they're nah, dirt cheap. They're oh, okay. just camp. Well, Tail beats camp to the max. So it's, it's it's the blood runes mm -hmm. which are expensive for the side. All right, exactly. I was gonna I was gonna say like the expansion for obviously the city they're planning on making. There could be like a river of blood. That you could effectively fish with vials or something, get fish next week, <laughs> make money at the same time. But no. hey, it doesn't sound like it'd be I'm worth it. But knife yourself, no. dude. River of blood. blood. That needs to be in the wilderness, baby. That sounds dope. Oh my mm. lord, that'd be sick. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Look yeah, that's forward to that. Boss. I guess we don't know much about it. <laughs> we don't. We know nothing about it. You guys want to see yeah. some vampires? I, I swear they just like to draw. 
vampires, man. Nothing wrong with that. We, we saw this last one. Yeah. But yeah. yeah well, Dude, if you scroll up to the city, I think the city looks pretty cool. I hope they make it like a cool thing. Yeah, you know, it's it's literally no, the city. Go back to that picture. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that map has already been introduced in Arstory. I've already been there, so it's, mm-hmm. it's not bad. I remember doing that quest pre OC. That was a pretty fun quest. Yeah, it's not bad. See, it's this place bad. is sick, but why they gotta make it so shit? I would rather just walk around and having like that whole city is pretty much just for that quest. I'd like yeah, it if they yeah, just bulldozed just it and then made it an actual city, right? Where you could cut trees. Well, no, no, and no shit. Meyer Ditch is a different part. My Meyer, Meyer Ditch is the it's like, part of slums. it's well, yeah. I no, guess the Meyer Ditch is the slums area. No, it makes then, sense. Like, the royalty like, area is that new place. You you get to access the new mm-hmm. royalty area. Yeah, the new area is going to be called Dark Mire. It's the area that's inaccessible. And that's the I, under- I understand that. I'm just saying that it just feels like a fat waste of an area, you know? I mean, I don't know. It's just thematic. And, and once you finish the quest, you don't have to go through all that shit again anyway. Yeah, yeah. never. Yeah, yeah that's guess. just for the quest. So, not a big deal. Not RuneScape if you don't have to do something you don't want to do to get something that you do want to yeah, do. Bro. I like the slums. It's just a one-time thing. Per you like account, the slums? So. It's man. As in, it's just, you know, it's once you get it done, you're done. So yeah right let's wrap it up boys cold one where can the people find you my friends all right so i've got a social which is my twitter handle that's osrs underscore a cold one and then there's also my switch channel which is twitch.tv slash a cold one so you can pick either or if you want to find me lovely how often do you stream dude what's your streaming Uh, schedule there really isn't one since i'm not a full-time streamer or like check marked or anything like that. I kind of just go live whenever I feel like it. Whenever I feel like actually soul in some theater. That's uh, a that's few times a week at least. A few times a week. I think. Yeah, it's and it's usually during the need hours. Yo, uh, n- nice typing, Minty. I got you, buddy. Yeah. Quadruple, <laughs> quadruple A. a. I like it. Quadruple um, a, and better. very important announcement. Uh, we are selling shirts. So uh, fifty bucks a pop. If you guys want to buy them, <laughs> links down below. Uh, it all goes towards me. Uh, but yeah. Feel free Please to rep like that video. shit. <laughs> Please like video. <laughs> Subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll be sure not to talk about PvP in the next podcast. Yeah, okay, if this yeah. video gets uh, 500 likes, we, we will not we, go on a PvP tangent. We won't even you touch. I guarantee you're going to within the first five minutes. Let's be serious. <laughs> it's the it's only out. part of the game that's super <laughs> damaged. Fuck, dude. 500 likes and Rick C won't start a tangent above you. <laughs> I mean, okay. PvM's still super damaged by Blowpipe, but I mean, yeah, that, that's yeah. been beaten like a dead horse. When someone talks dead about dead PvP. Yeah. <laughs> when someone talks about PvP. <laughs> 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 ah, ah, no. <laughs> it literally explodes. Oh, man. Please, no gaming integrity. Beautiful. All right. 